Now to our new series, YouTube and your kids. So many children watch videos on the site, but parents are concerned about inappropriate content. So we're taking a closer look. ABC's Juju Chang sat down with several families to talk about this. Good morning, Juju. Good what morning, you find Michael. Out well, we found out a lot. If your kids are like mine, though, they are suction cupped. I mean, literally glued to YouTube, clicking on video after video after video. But how often do kids end up seeing something inappropriate? Well, I spoke to kids, parents, and experts and got some pretty surprising answers. With YouTube constantly in the news, we gathered together some Philadelphia area tweens and their parents who have one thing in common. They say their kids are often hooked on YouTube. Have you ever tried to take YouTube away? The whole thing. What's the reaction? It's the end of the world. You're ending their life today. <laughs> exactly. Almost all say they use some form of parental controls on their computers and mobile devices to try to limit the exposure of inappropriate content. Have any of your kids found inappropriate material on YouTube? David has, and then he says he doesn't like it and he just moves on. The kids, all between 10 and 13, are eager to talk about their YouTube savvy. So you know who's kid-friendly and who's not kid-friendly? Yeah, yeah, like um, Super Mario Logan. I watch him. He's one of my favorite channels. You're laughing. Yeah, I know who Jeffy is. And you know who Jeffy is, too. You've seen it, too. We took a closer look at Jeffy, the puppet, on the popular YouTube channel Super Mario Logan. 35 million views, the N-word. Racial stereotypes, cursing, misogyny, I mean, violence, it's got it all. This is not something parents would want their kids watching. Family media watchdog Common Sense Media started rating YouTubers this year due to overwhelming requests from parents. YouTube is the biggest pain point for parents. Common Sense Media calls Super Mario Logan your basic online nightmare for parents of young kids. Rated for ages 17 and up, these kids are all 13 and younger. It was a suggested video. I watched it and it just kept reeling me in to watch more videos. It attracts kids because you don't, you wouldn't think of him as inappropriate because the way he looks, but when you actually watch him, he traps you in it. Do you think YouTube does enough to block inappropriate content for kids? Yeah. No. I think no. I, I do not think so. Why? Whatever is getting the most views, they're like, oh, you should watch this. YouTube recommends popular videos based on what's being watched, which raises the question, do kids know what's good for them? Sam, your mom said she trusts you yeah. to know what's right and wrong in terms yeah. of what you're viewing. Do you think that's the right way to go? Yeah, because, like, I don't watch, like, inappropriate videos. I don't think it's a trust thing. I think it's sometimes the kids, like, you get drawn in, and it's not their fault. We showed some of our interview to Common Sense Media. Developmentally, kids aren't even primed at that age to have the wherewithal to shut off YouTube. The creator of Super Mario Logan told us he's lost revenue since YouTube started age restricting and demonetizing his videos. He also said Common Sense Media's review was accurate regarding those old videos and that his newer ones are much cleaner in content and made for a wider audience, but adds it's ultimately the responsibility of the supervising adults. YouTube told us their main site is for those 13 plus. We created the YouTube Kids app to offer parents a safer alternative and ramped up our efforts to age gate flagged videos on the main app that are better suited for older audiences. Now it does say on the main site's terms of service that it's not intended for children under 13, which of course was news to the parents we spoke with. And in fact, school officials in two towns, Rome, New York and Brainerd, Minnesota, have warned parents about Super Mario Logan. And YouTube says it has tools to help though, including filters to block inappropriate content, plus it's restricted mode. But tomorrow we're gonna take a closer look at just how well they work. And we talked about how they're watching one thing and a suggested video pops up and it ends up being something inappropriate. Definitely waving things in front of the kids. All right, Juju, we'll talk to you tomorrow about that.